what's up guys, Modern Arts here, and this is my first tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you in Cinema 4D how to outline a logo. So, for example, if you take the Nike logo, you can do whatever, try to find a simple logo, but find your logo, or you can use this Nike logo. Practice, you're going to take it, obviously save it to your, um, save wherever you got to save it. Uh, yeah, let's just replace that. So, X that out. Um... Now we're gonna do. You're gonna click on Open Cinema 4D. First, uh, this is not for just saying. This is not for outlining it in Photoshop or Illustrator. I'm gonna be showing you how to outline it in Cinema 4D. So go to Mode, View Settings, click on Back, and oh wait one sec. Yeah, click on Back and click on this thing right where mouse is. So you have those four views. Click on the bottom right view. So you have that um, view, and then. Uh, in the bottom right where it says back and image click on these little three dots see it will show you what you have to click on so I'm going to select the Nike logo so there it is now we're going to be doing you're going to click on this and you're going to do Beezer you're going to just start by clicking anywhere in the logo so let's see so you're going to click right there and then you're going to zoom in for a better view so then you're just gonna pretty much connect the dots and keep keep clicking every point. And it takes longer for curves, but for straight lines it's pretty straightforward. So right now you can just do this with your image and you might have to zoom in if if like your little thing is on the red line, you won't be able to click for some reason. I don't know why. So it might be helpful to zoom in. But if you have a straight line, just zoom out and let's click there. Then let's go down here. So you guys should know how to do this. You just keep clicking on the dots and making an outline. I'm just going to do a rough outline because it's not about how good it is for this tutorial. You can take more time of it. Take more time on it if you want. I don't know what I just did there, but I'm just going to be showing you the process. So I'm not the best at this, so it might take me a little while. Yeah, I just missed the line right there, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then just finally connect it back to the first uh, first dot that you started at. There we go. So you have, hopefully, pause it right now to finish if, you, if you're not done yet but then if you connect that you have that outline you're gonna click to get those four views again and then you're gonna go to the top left view so you have this view so it's just a little, uh, swish now what you're gonna do you're gonna click on this box right here hold oh shit hold down and do extra nerves and then just click the spline, spline and drag it under the nerves so you have that and I could stop here, and you would probably know how to do more, but I'm just going to show you some tips. So you can make the NERS a little bit more as much as you want. Then go to Caps. You can go Start Cap, Filet Cap, End Cap, Filet Cap. You can change the Filet, cap, uh, filet Type. I like one step, and I also like the uh, default one, but so this one's pretty good. And there you go. You got that. If you don't know how to make a material, you can make some materials uh, by double clicking down there. I'm going to do a black material, simple black material. I'm also going to do a bright red. Material. So I don't know which one comes first, but just drag both of those onto the thing. If you don't know how to do this, you you might have to play around with the order right here but click on the one of them I'm gonna do the red one and for selection type in capital R1 and then you get black with an outline so yeah that's pretty much it you can just make a 3D logo I mean there's a lot more things with you could do with it you could have a chatter in you could 
play with the background, have it keyframe it to move in, however, which way you want. But I just showed you how to outline it and add some 3D effect to it. And that's your tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments if you want another tutorial or you have some questions about this one. Thanks.